Hello everyone, my name is Puneet. I'm part of Informatica Big Data Management Team. Uh, in this video, I'll be demonstrating uh, the configuration of the scoop for Microsoft SQL Server databases. The agenda of today's presentation is like what is, uh, uh, let us understand what is uh, scoop and how to configure the scoop for, for Microsoft SQL Server databases and the connection and how it can be integrated with Informatica uh, Big Data Management uh, tool and the demo. So uh, the scoop is like SQL to Hadoop or Hadoop to SQL. It's a tool uh, which is uh, uh, provided by the Apache Software Foundation uh, designed to transfer the data between the Hadoop and the relational databases where uh, we have import and export uh, commands. Uh, the import uh, is used to import the data from relational databases such as MySQL, Oracle to HDFS and the export uh, uh, is from the HDFS uh, to the relational databases. So this is the screenshot which I have taken from the you know, of the admin console. Uh, we'll see in detail uh, in the demo. So here we have to specify the username, password of the MySQL server and the JDBC driver class name for the MySQL server. Here the the class name should be of com dot Microsoft dot MySQL server dot JDBC dot SQL server driver. And you have to specify the connection string, uh, the connection string which you can get from your uh, the MySQL server admin ad administrator. And uh, when you wanted to uh, like enable the scoop uh, there is an option to use a scoop connector which has to be by default will be none you have to specify it as the scoop uh, uh, version 1.x this is the version which uh, we are using it in our informatica so that is from the top uh, no, from the bottom second option then you have to specify the scoop argument uh, by giving the iphone iphone connect and the, the scoop uh, jdbc uh, uh, connection uh, driver uh, sorry the connection details uh, followed by the host name and the port and you can specify uh, the databases name as well here so if you specify the database name by default whenever uh, you list uh, uh, list down the tables uh, by using the you uh, know the connection to create a uh, physical data object it will list out all the tables from this particular databases so the scoop uh, import uh, command uh, like it is in, uh, it is usually uh, uh, used to to import the individual tables from the RDBM, uh, from RDBMS or my any of the MySQL to the HDFS, such as here each row in the table uh, is treated as the record in HDFS, and all the records are stored as text data. The text file or as a binary data will be stored as an arrow and the sequential file. For the scoop export, the export tool exports the set of uh, uh, files from the HDFS back to the RDBMS or to the MySQL server. So here the files given as an input to the scoop con uh, it contains the records uh, which are called as the row in the table and those are uh, read and uh, passed into the set of records and delimited with the user specified delimiters. So uh, with respect to Informatica uh, big data management tool uh, like to use the scoop with Informatica BDM user uh, must configure the scoop properties in the JDBC connection and run a mapping only on the push down Hadoop environment. You can configure the scoop connectivity for the relational databases object uh, and customize the data objects. So the model repository services uh, which uses the JDBC to import the metadata the the data integration service uh, which runs on the map which runs the mapping uh, on the push down or uh, Hadoop environment and uh, pushes the job uh, processing to the scoop. So the scoop processing jobs will create a MapReduce program in the Hadoop cluster. In order to debug any of the uh, the application related stack, uh, you have to look for the MapReduce log in the application master or uh, in the resource manager UI. So now let's see the demo or uh, uh, to how to create a scoop connectivity for the MySQL server databases and uh, run a simple mapping on the Hadoop pushdown. So this is my Informatica admin console. Uh, in order in order to use the uh, like scoop uh, MySQL JDBC drive uh, JDBC, you have to download the Microsoft SQL Server JDBC driver jar. Uh, and you can actually download the type 4 JDBC dr driver uh, uh, which is provided by the database vendor uh, recommended to use only the scoop connectivity uh, once you have downloaded it you have to place the uh, driver inside the info home uh, uh, in the external JDBC jar in, in the server and also you have to place the same uh, JDBC jar uh, in the Informatica uh, uh, developer client 
and the clients in the external JDBC JAS. Once the uh, JAS has been placed, now you have to click on the connection in order to create a scope connectivity. Uh, so we have to go for the connection and look for the JDBC. And here you have to specify the username and password. Uh, sorry, it is the username, uh, uh, the connectivity, the JDBC connectivity uh, name, and uh, here followed by you have to specify uh, the username and password for the SQL, uh, the Microsoft SQL database, and you have to specify the JDBC driver class name followed by the connection string. And if you go for next, where you have to specify the scope connectivity. Now let's actually configure the scope uh, MySQL JDBC connection. So I'm just specifying the name the connectivity and I'm just specifying the username and here you have to specify the the JDBC driver class name which will be like com dot Microsoft dot MySQL server dot JDBC dot SQL SQL server driver so this will be the JDBC driver class name uh, and uh, you have to specify the connection string uh, which you can get it from your uh, the MySQL administrator so here I specified my uh, the connection string now I'll go for next here I'll just select uh, the use scoop connector as the scoop portion here I'll specify the connection string the with the scoop arguments so here I'm just specifying it connect and I will be connecting to my SQL server uh, which is uh, FiNGL, uh, ng SQL 12 and the port number is 14233 and that I'm specifying it as by database is of support. So in order to uh, like uh, if, if there is any like space between the columns uh, uh, in order to identify those characters you can specify it will be in the single quotes and uh, you can do the test connection. So now I have uh, created a simple mapping uh, by using the same connection which I have created it where uh, here I have a connection as like JDBC MySQL uh, in, in, in ng SQL 16 it is my uh, Microsoft SQL scoop JDBC connection and I'm just writing it to one high table uh, which I'll be running it on uh, the Hadoop push down. So I'm selected as a runtime spark and you can also select it as a blaze and I'll be specifying the connection details. The connection details I've specified it as uh, my Hadoop distribution. So now let's run this mapping. Just keep this uh, mapping uh, run on the background. Uh, I'll just show you how uh, you can also create uh, like a data object by clicking on project new and you have to select the physical uh, data object here you have to specify the relational then you can just look for your uh, the JDBC connection so which uh, has uh, your uh, MySQL scoop connectivity and I have selected my database uh, my connection I'll you can look for the uh, like resources so which will list down all the tables uh, which are under the connectivity so I'll be selecting one of the table and this is how you can able to create a data object out of uh, uh, scoop uh, JDBC MySQL connectivity. So now my mapping has run successfully. In order to like find debug uh, if any mapping related issues, so once the mapping got completed, if you click on the logs, you will be able to see the scoop uh, related command like scoop hyphen hyphen import or connect uh, with followed by what is the uh, JDBC connection string which you have used it and uh, the scoop uh, complete uh, commands. So which you can copy, uh, which I think uh, you will be able to copy it. Uh, you can copy it and you can run the same command externally with any of the Hadoop data nodes to check the uh, the issue will be from the informatica or uh, from the scoop argument externally so this is about the demo now uh, the things uh, uh, to consider the following uh, condition while you know configuring the my um, scoop for the microsoft sql server database are like when you use uh, the iphone iphone append argument the scoop program uh, ignores the argument during the import and export and when you write a data to a flat file through the scoop uh, and use the double or real of any float data types the scoop program writes only the integer value to the flat file and when you import the data from microsoft sql server databases if if the source table does not have any primary 
key defined uh, you must specify the iphone iphone split iphone by argument uh, to import the data based on the column name and when you recreate a target table for any of the data object that uses the scoop the scoop program honors only the ANSI SQL standard syntaxes and if the metadata from the developer tool does not match the metadata in the database uh, some of the columns are not linked between the read and write transformation in, in these cases the mapping may fail so you can refer this uh, KB 615437 uh, 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 which has the in detail steps to configure the scoop uh, uh, MySQL server so we'd like to hear from you please write us to support videos at informatica.com and follow us on twitter.com slash infosupport thank you